90 overall team builders are finally here in NHL 24, and they are legitimately the best cards in the game. Today, I'm going to go through all six of them, tell you how to get them, and give you a little bit of a ranking, but it's kind of redundant. All six of them are the best cards in the game. Your six new team builders in NHL 24 are Madonna, Shanahan, LeClaire, Mitchell, O'Coin, and Robin Regeer. To get these 90 overalls, you head over to the team builder set, and you need to trade in two of the 87 overall team builders. And to get those, you need six of the 84s, and then to get them, you have to trade in players from every team. We've been through this. You know how to get the 84s. So you trade in the 84s for 87s, you trade in two 87s for a 90. It can be any two. It doesn't have to be from a specific division or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your brand new players. First up, we have Robin Regeer. He's a six foot three left-handed defenseman with gold truculence, silver shutdown, silver bouncer, silver thunderclap, and silver stick him up. His one weak spot is his shooting. Now he does have some synergy help here to help his shot but his checking is 99. He's got gold truculence and silver shutdown. And with synergies, he can have 99 stick checking, 99 defensive awareness. This card is going to be gross and hard to play against. Next up from the Dallas Stars and former Detroit Red Wings legend, we have Mike Madonna. This card is going to be disgusting. I I'm telling you right now, this is probably the best card in the entire game in terms of offense. Six foot three, 95 speed and excel, but you can get that up with synergy help if you want into 97 speed and excel. He has gold wheels, silver snipe, silver puck on a string, silver unstoppable force, and silver elite edges at six foot three, 95 speed and excel for his base without any synergy help. 95 deking, his stick checking is a little weak and his body checking is a little bit weak, but this is the best offensive card in the entire game, in my opinion. Now he has 90 faceoffs right now, which is pretty solid, but with the two-way forward synergy, you actually get that up to 93 or 94 and defensive boost bumps up to 97. So yeah, that's a pretty damn good card. Card number three, we have Brendan Shanahan on the Detroit Red Wings, and this card is going to be a ton of fun to use as well. Six foot three, 93 speed and excel. His shot is much better than Madonna's. His deking's a little bit worse. Body checking a little bit better. Stick checking and faceoffs are worse, but at the end of the day, you're not getting Brendan Shanahan to take faceoffs, even though he did take a decent amount of draws in his NHL career. This is somebody who's going to run people over. Gold Unstoppable 4, Silver Close Quarters, Silver 1T, Silver Back at you, and Silver Make It Snappy. 97 strength for synergies, but other synergies can help get that up. It's the same with his checking. It's at 90, but if you have certain synergies on, it'll change. And all I can say right now is this card is absolutely disgusting. I cannot wait to have him as a Wings fan. Card number four is going to be Willie Mitchell. This card looks awesome and uh, honestly might be my pick for best defenseman in the game right now. Left-handed defenseman, gold shutdown, silver quick pick, silver stick him up. Silver Ice Pack and Silver No Contest, like all of these synergies right here make him the best defenseman in the game. He's a six foot three defenseman, but even without any synergy on, his uh, stick checking is already 99, shot blocking 99, defensive awareness 99. His shot's not amazing, don't get me wrong, so if you're looking for somebody who's going to be scoring, probably not going to be him. But in terms of defense, this is the best card that you can get. Next up, we have John LeClaire for the left side. Looks like a really solid card. He's also six foot three, kind of seems to be a trend here. Gold, close quarters, silver off the rush, silver back at you, silver no contest, and unstoppable force. This is probably the best rounded card on offense, but I don't like him as much as Shanahan or Madonna, if I'm just being honest with you. Decent skating, decent shot, decent hands, decent checking, decent defense, but nothing outstanding, right? Nothing's going, oh my god, this is a great card, 99 this or whatever, like some of the other cards. But even with synergies on, this is going to be a great card. If you have both of those on, the card will become much better at shooting. At the end of the day, I don't think you can go wrong with making any of these cards, and we have one more to go through. This is going to be Adrian O'Coin, your right-handed defenseman from the event. Six foot two, he's got gold thunderclap, and for this reason, I do think he is the worst of the six. He's good defensively, and he has some decent silver abilities, but I'm not a fan of his gold ability. I think it makes him worse. Decent synergies, like everyone else, that can help him out with his shot and whatnot, but I do think that the other defensemen are better. With synergies and whatnot, you can make this card even better. Obviously, 99 endurance, 98 body checking, 99 stick checking, all that fun stuff, but at the end of the day, I don't think he's the best. So those are your six 90 overall team builders here in NHL 24. I'm going to go ahead and do the eye test and rank them that way. I'm not going to try every card out, of course, but I'm going to tell you guys who I think the best ones are. At the end of the day, if you like a player or you like a team, make that player. You will always play better using people that you like versus who I tell you to use. Or if somebody else tells you, hey, this is the best card in the game and, and it's somebody that you don't like using or whatever, you're not going to do as well with them. I'm going to make Shanahan and Madonna their Red Wings. I make an all Red Wing team and I love them both. But just because I don't like someone like O'Coin doesn't mean he's not going to be good for you. 
So at number six, I am going to say Adrian Ocoin, um, honestly, but like, it's not like a, a bad card. It's just the worst one, in my opinion, of the six. He is the only right-handed defenseman, though, so if you need a righty, he'll be the best one out of everyone. You know what I'm trying to say? Just hard for me to suggest using him over somebody like Willie Mitchell. At five, I am going to say John LeClaire. Um, and the reason I'm going to say John LeClaire here is, again, he doesn't have anything that's outstanding about the card. Everything's good. Everything's balanced, but nothing outstanding. And again, gold uh, close quarters. This is much better than NHL 23. I don't think it's as effective this year. So O'Coin at six, LeClaire at five. I'm going to go with Robin Regeer here at number four. He has gold truculence and silver stick him up and shutdown. If you're looking for a defensive card, this is an absolute beast. 99 body checking, and then you put gold truculence on him. Again, his shot's not outstanding, but the rest of the card is good. But 92 acceleration, 91 speed. I do have Willie Mitchell above him. At number three, I'm going to go with Brendan Shanahan. I really like Willie Mitchell's card. And after looking at both of them, as much as I love Shanahan, and I think he's going to be outstanding, I think that one thing that kind of drags him down is his defense. His checking's only at 90. I think it should be higher than that. And yeah, you can get it up with synergies and whatnot. But I'm going to put Brendan Shanahan at three, even though one of my favorite players of all time, and uh, I'm a big fan of Brendan Shanahan. I'm going to put him at three, which means I'm going to put Willie Mitchell at number two. I think he is the best defenseman available right now in the game. Gold shutdown and all, literally all of these abilities. Every single one of these abilities, I think, are extremely useful. So this is my favorite defenseman in the game right now. Yeah, his offense isn't great. You can help him out with synergies, of course, but he's already getting 99 stick checking. He's six foot three, 210. With some synergy help, he gets 99 body checking, 96 strength. Um, this is the best defenseman, especially because of the abilities. And number one, I am going to go with Mike Madano. How can you say no to this card? He's got 95 speed and excel, but with synergies, you can actually get him up to 97, 97. His shot's not incredible, but again, synergies help. But he has gold wheels and silver unstoppable force and elite edges. 95 deking. Body checking is not insane, but again, synergies. And then you have somebody who can take draws at 90 face-offs. And if you get synergies on, all the way up to 97. This is the best team builder, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know down below who you're making first out of the team builders. Some of the cards are absolutely ridiculous. All of them would be the best cards on my team. Don't get me wrong. And if you disagree with my rankings, that's totally fair. Everyone's looking for something different and has a different play style. So these are the cards that fit my play style best. It doesn't mean it's going to fit yours. In the end, I'm going to make Madonna and Shanahan because I'm a Wings fan. Simple as that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.